I'm Jesse Crastill. I'm an orthopedic surgeon with Panorama Orthopedics and Spine. My focus is on hip and knee replacement. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about arthritis, which is the most common cause of patients coming in to see me in clinic. There are multiple types of arthritis. Arthritis basically just means inflammation of a joint. One type is post-traumatic arthritis, you have gouty arthritis, autoimmune arthritis such as rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, the most common type is osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is what I'm going to focus on today because again, it's the most common type. So whether you're in your primary care doctor's office or you're in your orthopedic surgeon's office, um, often the first uh, test you'll get would be an x-ray or a radiograph. This often is what your radiographs might look like. If we're talking about knee osteoarthritis, what you'll see on the left knee here on this image is on the left knee, we have good symmetric space on both the inside and the outside aspects of the knee. On the right knee, what you'll see is there's evidence of space on the outside of the knee, but no space on the inside. And what that signifies, space is good, space is your friend, because cartilage lives in that space. You want to see space. When you have lack of space, that basically means you have lack of cartilage. That's what causes osteoarthritis. Same goes with the hip. So with hip arthritis, you're also looking for space. On the left hip, you'll see the femoral head, you'll see the acetabulum or the cup aspect, and you'll see the space in between. That's what you wanna see. There's cartilage that lives in that space. On the right hip, what you're seeing again, there's the femoral head, there's the acetabulum or cup aspect, but there again, there's no space. That lack of space is bone on bone arthritis. On this image, you can even see on the outside of the hip, a little bit of a bone spur or an osteophyte that limits the range of motion of the hip. This is what a healthy appearing knee looks like. This is what healthy cartilage looks like. So the white part is the bone, the blue part that you're seeing, that's the cartilage. So when we're talking about arthritis, it's the breakdown of the cartilage that we're talking about. Now, a lot of patients come in and they ask me about the meniscus or the ligaments. So basically the blue part is the cartilage. You have your MCL on the inside aspect, your LCL on the outside aspect. You have your ACL in the middle, as well as actually a PCL on the back of the knee. But primarily when we're talking about arthritis, we're mostly talking about the cartilage. So this is a good, happy, healthy looking knee. This is the knee you had when you were 20 years old and you can go up and down stairs and you can run around and do pretty much anything you wanted and you didn't even realize you had a knee. As osteoarthritis or wear and tear starts to set in, we start to have breakdown of the cartilage. And as the cartilage breaks down, you have increased inflammation as well as pain. This is what we consider moderate arthritis. Now, if you wanna look at severe arthritis or what we consider bone on bone arthritis, that's what that looks like. Bone on bone signifies no cartilage whatsoever. On the radiographs, if there's no space, there's no cartilage. And so that is what bone on bone arthritis looks like and that is why it hurts. You have one bone articulating against another bone, causing pain and inflammation. When you have a knee that looks like this, you essentially have three options. Option number one is essentially do nothing to live with this. This is knee arthritis. Now it's a progressive disease, meaning it will get worse, but you can put up with the pain and limitation as long as you want to put up with the pain and limitation. Option number two is non-operative modalities. So we could try uh, over-the-counter anti-inflammatories, prescription anti-inflammatories, uh, you could try physical therapy, non-impact aerobic activities, bracing, you try injections such as corticosteroids or hyaluronic acid among other injections available today. Um, and then ultimately if those no longer give you relief, then we proceed with knee replacement surgery. If you would like to see me for a consult, please visit our website or contact our office.